All right, let's get started with part two of today's lesson. For this part of the lesson, we're going to solve division number stories involving all types of measurement units. If you don't already have your math journal and pencil ready to go, get those now, because you're gonna need them for the entire part of part, less, or part two of this lesson. Now open your math journal to page 248. We're just gonna focus on problem number one right now. I'm gonna model how to solve this problem for you. You need to copy down all of my work as I write it so you can use it as a model for um, questions later in the lesson. The story at the top of page 248 says, the fourth graders at Bastlone Elementary School voted to hold their spring celebration at a local skating rink. The fourth grade student council is in charge of renting the skating rink and planning the celebration. Help the student council make plans by answering the questions below. Question one says, the skating rink can be rented for a full session or a half session, which is half as long as a full session. A full session is seven hours and 30 minutes. The student council wants to rent the skating rink for a half session. How many minutes long is a half session? So let's think about what we're trying to find out. This is the part we don't know yet. So I'm gonna get my pencil. And the part that we are trying to find out, let's look at it. That's the question. How many minutes long is a half session? That's what we're trying to figure out. So underline that question. How many minutes long is a half session? That's what we're trying to find out. But what do we already know? We already know that a full session is seven hours and 30 minutes long. Remember, the student council wants to rent the skating rink for just a half session. So let's think about what we need to do to figure out how many minutes long a half session is. First, for my number model, I need to figure out how many minutes is a full session. We know a full session is seven hours and 30 minutes, but remember they're wanting the answer in minutes. So I want to know how many minutes is seven hours and 30 minutes. So I'm going to first start by writing seven times 60. That's what I want to figure out first. That'll tell me how many minutes there are in seven hours, because remember there are 60 minutes in one hour. So that's the first part I'm going to solve, seven times 60. So since that's first, I'm gonna put that in parentheses. After I figure out how many minutes there are in seven hours, I have to add on that 30 minutes because remember, a full session is seven hours and 30 minutes. Once I do that, that will be part two, so I'm going to put another set of parentheses around that part of the problem because first I need to solve the seven times 60, then for part two, add on the 30. After that, since I just want to know how long a half session is, I need to take that answer and divide it in two or in half and that should give me the answer. And for my unknown, I'm gonna do M because they want to, us to tell how many minutes long a half session is. Now, I'm gonna show you how I would solve that problem. For the first part, seven times 60. Well, that one's kinda hard to do, but I know that seven times six 
is 42. And then I just add on the zero. So my answer for 7 times 60 is 420. Then I add on my 30. And I know that 420 plus 30 more, that part equals 450. Then the next part, we have to divide it by 2. That's our third step. So down here, I'm going to take 450 and divide it by 2. I have to ask myself, how many 2's are there in 450? Well, that one's really big, so I'm going to start by just looking at the 4. And I'm going to ask myself, how many 2's are there in just 4? Well, in 4, I can get 2 2's. And then there are 2 digits left, so I'm going to put on 2 zeros. So this is telling me that there are at least 200 2's in 450. Now we can multiply. We need to multiply that 200 out to the side times 2. Well, I know 2 times 2 is 4, then add on my two zeros. Then I can subtract, and I have 50 left over. Now I have to ask myself, how many 2's are in 50? Well, I know there are at least two 2's in 5. And then there's one digit left, so I add on a 0. That's telling me there are at least 20 2's in 50. Because 20 times 2 is 40. Then I subtract, and I have 10 left over. Now I have to figure out how many 2's are there in 10. Well, I already know that there are 5 2's in 10 because 5 times 2 is 10 and nothing left over. Then I can go back and add up my partial quotients. and I get an answer of 225. So 450 divided by 2 is 225. So when the question asks, how many minutes long is a half session? You should say 225 minutes. Don't forget to add your unit. We're going to solve one more problem like that on the next slide. We're going to do it together. If you don't have all of this work written down, pause your video now so you can get it all caught up. And then turn it back on when you're ready to move to the next problem, problem number two. All right, let's read problem two. It says it costs $1,250 to rent the skating rink for a half session. The student council has $500 for renting the skating rink. They must raise the rest of the money by selling tickets to students who attend the celebration. If they charge $6 for each ticket, how many students must attend to make sure they have enough money to rent the skating rink? So we know it's going to cost them $1,250 to rent that skating rink for a half session. We also know they don't have enough money yet because it says over here they only have $500. So now they have to sell tickets to make the rest of the money. But what amount of money do they have to raise? We have to figure that out first. Then we have to take that $6 for each ticket and find out how many tickets are they going to have to sell or how many students must attend to make sure they have enough money to rent the skating rink. And we know those tickets are $6 each, so we have to figure out how many tickets they have to sell. So, 
let's figure out this number model first. So I know that it cost $1,250 to rent the skating rink, but they already have 500 up here. So I'm gonna take that number, 1,250, and I want to minus or subtract 500 because they don't need to raise the whole $1,250 because they already have 500 of that. So that's the part we're going to do first. So put that in parentheses. Then for the second step, since we know the tickets that they need to sell will cost $6 each, we are going to take that $6 and use it for our next step. We're going to divide the answer we get in the parentheses by six. That will tell us how many tickets we need to sell or how many students need to come to the dance. And that should give us our answer. And I'm gonna say my unknown is S because they're asking how many students must attend the debt the dance or the skating rink session the party i want you to pause your video now and solve that number model once you have an answer for how many students must attend turn the video back on so we can check our work Right, let's go ahead and talk about how we got our answer for number two. Hopefully, in the white space in your book or on a separate piece of paper, you started by taking 1,250 minus 500. And hopefully you got 750 as your answer. Then, remember we have to take that 750 and divide it by six because each ticket costs six dollars. And you start by asking yourself, how many sixes are there in 750? I'm gonna start with just the seven because I know I can get at least one six out of seven or one group of six out of seven. And there are two digits left over, so I add two zeros. That tells me there are at least a hundred sixes in the number 750. 100 sixes or 100 times six is 600. Now we subtract, and we have 150 left over as our dividend. Now we have to ask how many sixes are in 150. If I start with just the one, I ask myself how many sixes are in one, and there are no sixes in one. So now I move to the next digit and look at just the 15. How many sixes are in 15? Well, I know I can get two sixes out of 15 because two sixes is 12. Three sixes would be too much, that's 18. So if I can get two sixes out of 15, there is one digit that I ignored or covered up. So now this is telling me that I can get at least six or 20 sixes out of 150 because 20 times six is 120. Then I subtract and I have 30 left over. And I ask myself, how many sixes are in 30? And that is five because five times six is 30 and nothing left over. Then I add my partial quotients and I get an answer of 125. So when they ask how many students must attend to 
make sure that they have enough money to rent that skating rink, you should have said 125 students. If you had that one right, all by yourself, pat yourself on the back. If you need more time to copy down or check your work, pause your video now before we move on to the next problem. Then turn it back on when you're ready to go. Now let's talk about your job for today's math journal. We already answered question number two, so I'm going to put a check mark there. So on math journal page 248, you are going to solve question number three and question number four. Make sure on question number three and four you read the problem, circle any numbers, underline the question so you make sure you know what you're answering, get a number model with an unknown, and then a final answer. Let me set up what this should look like for you, at least for the number model, for number three. Your number model is going to start with a multiplication problem. So something times something, then you'll take that answer and divide it by another number and that will get you your unknown. And for this one, we're talking about balloons, so we're gonna say our unknown is B. So hopefully that helps you set up your problem. One number times another number divided by the third number. Then for number four, you are going to start with a number from the story and you're going to divide first. So go ahead and get that written in. Something divided by something. You'll do that first, so in parentheses. And you'll take that answer. Then you'll multiply by another number from the story. And then that will give you your unknown. And for this one, you're ask, they're asking you about a number of cups. So I'm going to say my unknown is C. You need to use cubes for number three and number four. Fill in the blanks for the number models, then find the answer. You will have to give both of these answers on today's Google form. So make sure you solve them correctly. Then let's go ahead and look at number five. Number five is on page 249 in your math journal, the very next page. For number five, it has a part A and a part B. For part A, you're going to start with a number, so leave a blank, and then you are going to subtract. But, you need parentheses because you're going to have a number times another number from the story. You'll do that part first and then you'll subtract at the end. And your unknown here is going to be an F because they ask how much further in millimeters did Michael go then jump? You know what? I'm going to change that. Let's not make that an F. Let's make that an M because they ask you how much further in millimeters. So do MM for your unknown. Then for part B, you are going to have a number divided by another number equals 
and we'll do M on this one again because it says how many millimeters did he travel in one second? Don't forget on all of your answers you need to put a unit. This number model for number B is a little tricky because whatever you have for your answer on part A, that's going to be your first number down here in part B. Ooh, never mind. I'm going to take that off of there. That doesn't look to be right. I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Whatever number you have here for your first blank, you're going to have that down here for your first blank. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong line. All right, I want you to solve number three, number four, number 5A, and number 5B in your math journal. Make sure you write down all of your work and answers. Then you'll go to your Google form and transfer your answers to the questions there. After you have answered today's questions from your math journal, you will have another video with today's math.